Well, good morning and welcome back. We're at the last section on Lamentations now. We're going to read the last three verses of the whole book, Lamentations 5, verses 22 and 23, then we'll think about it together for a moment. Why do you forget us forever and forsake us for so long a time? Turn us back to you, O Lord, and we will be restored. Renew our days as of old, unless you have utterly rejected us and are very angry with us. So we've come to the very end of, of Lamentations Jeremiah, this is the last we're going to hear from Jeremiah the prophet. And there's something very hopeful about this uh, last entry in our series of devotionals on Jeremiah. Did you notice time? Time's an issue in verse 20. How long is this going to be? Oh, Lord, please, please deliver us. It's, it's been so long. We've been chasing for so long. But then we come to verse 21. And the 21 is so important. Turn us back to you, O Lord, and we will be restored you see, we cannot turn on our own. Repentance is a gift. God gives his people the gift of repentance. There's no repentance in you or in me. We didn't. If we get up on the right side of the bed, we're not going to suddenly be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and nice and loving and kind and gentle and, and like Jesus. It's supernatural. We are, we, are, we are born damaged, and we need God to intervene. We need him to adjust us, okay? We need supernatural help from above to influence our heart and mind so that we can be like Jesus, so that we can behave as Jesus, so that our heart wants to be like Jesus. So that's the way, that's the very request we need. Verse 21, turn us back to you. He must do the turning. That's the, the gift of repentance. And that's what you and I need today. I just want to appeal to you as we conclude the book of Lamentations here. You and I, what we need is a supernatural, uh, outside of and beyond our self-help for God to come and work in our heart and mind and draw us toward his kingdom. Oh, may we come toward his throne and may we have this spirit as well. Renew our days as of old, verse 21. Unless verse 22 says, well, unless you've completely rejected us, then, then there's no hope at all. But God is chasing his people, not, not out of a lack of hope, but because he's, he's bringing them to this day. This day that's talked about at verse 21, turn our hearts back to you, O Lord. And may God do that for his church in these last days. The world needs us, and, and we're like uh, off the plan, so many of us. May God help us and give us, give us eyes to see and ears to hear, and may he give us a heart to, to know what to do in these crazy times. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us to be available to you, that you can turn our hearts back to you. Surely everyone hearing this appeal needs your spirit, needs you to help us turn on our own. We, we can't do it. It's beyond us, but it's not beyond you. Change us, Lord. Change our hearts. Draw us close to heaven above. Give us opportunities to share with others. And we ask for these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, it's been really interesting for me going through the whole book of Jeremiah and the book of Lamentations, our two most recent sets of studies and devotional time. We're going to start tomorrow morning with a look at a New Testament book. And tomorrow morning, you'll find out what it is. God's going to have some real powerful helps for us. God be with you.